hundred years, humans thought they were alone in the Caprulu sector. They were wrong. The Zerg emerged, seeking to consume all in their path. And before long, the Protoss, a highly advanced alien race, began wiping out infested worlds, burning Zerg and Terran alike. A three-way war, unlike anything humanity had ever faced, erupted almost overnight. All the while, a human civil war raged. Marshal Jim Raynor vowed to oppose the corrupt dictator Arcturus Minsk for the betrayal of the woman he loved, Sarah Kerrigan. Ah, uh, boys. How about that evac? Damn you, Arcturus. Don't do this. It's done. Helmsman, signal the fleet and take us out of orbit. Now. Kerrigan. A loyal operative was left to die at the hands of the Zerg. But the Zerg had other plans. They transformed her and unleashed her psionic power upon the Caprulu sector, searching for their real objective, the Protoss homeworld of Ire. The Protoss were unaware of this danger and slow to respond. Their rulers, the Conclave, had dispatched Executor Artanis to hunt for Tassadar, a commander who had refused to wipe out infested Terran worlds. They crossed paths with a dark Templar mystic, whose kind was considered heretics by the Conclave. Through great effort, Zeratul convinced Tassadar and Artanis that he was not their enemy. Together, they rallied more Protoss from both factions against the Zerg. Despite the Conclave's fury, they achieved significant victories against the Swarm. But when Zeratul struck down one of the Overmind's Cerebrates, his own mind was left vulnerable. From his thoughts, the Overmind gleaned Ayr's true location, and the Swarm descended upon the Protoss homeworld with all their might and fury. It was Tassadar who kept the Templar from extinction that day. Using the power of both the Templar and the Dark Templar, he sacrificed himself to kill the Overmind. Ire was lost, but Artanis led the survivors to the Dark Templar's homeworld of Shakuras. Old prejudices were set aside. The Templar were now in the Dark Templar's debt. Without the Overmind, the Swarm fractured. Kerrigan sought control of all the Zerg, even enlisting the aid of old friends and enemies like Raynor, Manx, and Zeratul. Once her rule was uncontested, the Queen of Blades betrayed them all. Billions of humans and Protoss were killed. The Zerg stood unchallenged, but to the relief of all, the war seemed to end there. Zeratul suspected the Zerg had fallen under the control of dark forces. He uncovered prophecies stating that an ancient entity, Amon, was attempting to merge Protoss and Zerg lifeforms into an unholy hybrid and that this evil might already have control of Kerrigan and her power. It was during this time that Executor Artanis, hailed as a hero, was made leader of both the Templar and the Dark Templar. As Hierarch, Artanis united both factions and promised to one day reclaim the glory they had lost on Ire. But such unity is only a dream for Jim Raynor. Menx still rules, and Raynor's small rebellion has counted for nothing against the Dominion's propaganda machine. Perhaps it is time for a new strategy. They say a man never really knows himself. Until his freedom's been taken away. I wonder... How well 
do you know yourself? held a press conference commemorating the end of the so-called brood war some four years ago. Our own Kate Lockwell was on the scene. Emperor, the threat of a new Zerg invasion is still very real. But instead of expanding our fleets, you've squandered trillions on hunting down has-been rebels like Jim Rayner. Jim Rayner represents a clear and present threat to this dominion. He is an unscrupulous, lawless revolutionary bent on spreading fear and dissension across the sector. He and his ragtag band of miscreants have instigated a war rebellion across six separate worlds. Troops ready yet. Your forces are prepared and awaiting your orders, Commander. Uploading tactical data now. 
good. About time we kick this revolution into overdrive. Backwater Station is the center of Dominion Logistics on Masara. Destroying Dominion Authority here will cripple Emperor Menk's operations throughout the planet. Adjutant, what do you got for me? Dominion forces have set up a logistics headquarters in the town of Backwater Station. This has become the hub for all operations on Marsara. The Dominion recently pulled troops out of the city and they are now under strength. Are the locals cooperating? The people of Backwater Station are known to be anti-Dominion, but they lack weapons and organization. If I can take that headquarters away from Mengsk, it'll cripple him on this planet. Prep my ship. Let's show the locals they don't need to fear the Dominion. Break it down. You can count on me. What's the plan? Commander, there are tutorials... awaiting your review. Keep your intervals wide, your eyes open, and your ass is covered. Let's move. Time to man up. You can count on me. Raiders roll. Sounds like a plan. Don't go up that road. Raiders roll. You can count on me. Time to man up. Sounds like a plan. Rainer. Kill him! You can count on me. Sounds like a plan. Time to man up. Raiders roll. Keep a close watch on your neighbors. Descent will only slow our progress. Commander, destroying the Dominion holoboards will help incite rebellion against the Dominion. Last time. Raiders roll. You can count on me. Sounds like a... Where is everyone? You can count on me. Raiders roll. Time to man up. You can count on me. My neighbors. My family. You can count on... This is starting to look ugly. You can count on me. Commander, a large Dominion force is gathering in the center of town. Then it's time to call in that special delivery we talked about. Sell me. What's up? Thanks for the assist. We're with you, Raider. Sounds like a plan. Raiders roll. That's Raider! Most wanted man in the Dominion! Time to man up. You can count on me. Raiders roll. You can count on me. Sounds like a plan. Time to man up. You can count on me. Time to man up. Raiders roll. Sounds like a plan. Your freedoms must be protected. The 
just as bad. You can count on me. Raiders roll. Sounds like a plan. Raiders roll. Finally. There's the locals. You'll all be given a meal when you reach the dig site. My brother went off to the mine last week. He disappeared. We got a runner. They're shooting civilians. Move in. What's up? You can count on me. Raiders roll. Time to man up. Sounds like plan. Mengsk has a lot to pay for. Thank you, Raider. We knew you wouldn't forget us. There's more people still being held up ahead. I'll see to them. Time to man up. Sounds like a plan. Marshal Rayner. Been a while since we saw you around here. We're with you, Raiders! Raiders roll. Sounds like a plan. This is a restricted area. Two insurgents are under arrest. We got your back, Raider. Give them some pepper. Time to man up. Raiders roll. Sounds like a plan. Raiders roll. Count on me. Time to man up. Sounds like a plan. We could fight them, but we can. Now you've got the weapons and the resources to do it. Remember, Minx can only control you if you let him. Finley. <laughs> nice suit. Pays to be prepared. I heard they put you on ice. Live sentence. What? To give you time off for good behavior? That's right, old buddy. I'm a model citizen now. So, to what do I owe the pleasure? Just a friendly business proposition. Do you even know what the Dominion are doing out here? I'm guessing you're about to tell me. Digging up alien artifacts, old buddy. Your boy Minsk has gone crazy for them. But I got a contact that'll pay top dollar for every artifact we liberate from the Dominion. I guess I can hardly pass that up now, can I, Tychus? Partners, then. 
60 40. 70 30. My way. <laughs> Feels like old times already. Old times. Call me curious, but how'd you get out? Well, I busted out of my cryo freezer while they were transporting me to New Folsom. Oh, I must have killed at least a dozen guards with my bare hands. <laughs> yeah, I've heard this one before. But you left out the part where you walked on water, made off with the warden's daughter. Don't you get uppity with me, boy. I heard all about you becoming a big-time freedom fighter while I was away. What happened, Jimmy? The war for truth and justice get too much for you. I ain't licked yet, Tychus. And I promise you, Minsk is going down, one way or another. What is this swill? This looks recent. This you're doing, Jimmy? Folks in these parts are ready to fight back against Maxx. Guess they just needed a little push. You still take this whole revolution thing pretty serious, then. Everyone needs a hobby, Tychus. This is Donnie Vermillion. Live from the UNN studios on Core Hall, we've got a breaking story for you. Let's go live to our own Kate Lockwell on the fringe world of Marsara. Kate? Thanks, Donnie. Rebel Jim Rayner has reappeared in a big way. He's attacked a Dominion Depot near Backwater Station, seizing weapons and distributing them to the local populace. Kate, I bet the locals are pretty nervous about having a notorious outlaw in their neighborhood. Actually, Donnie, the people I talked to seemed really encouraged thanks, by the... Kate. You heard it here first. Jim Rayner, terrorizing the locals on Marsara. When we return, are your kids using skin packs? Keep talking, pal. I'm just getting started. Thanks to your actions, Marsara is now in a state of open revolt against Arturus Minsk. Ex-convict Tychus Findlay has revealed the Dominion came to Marsara to excavate an alien artifact. Seizing the artifact will strike another blow against the Dominion and generate funds from selling it to Findlay's mysterious contacts. This old outpost don't look like anything special. Keep your shirt on, son. Dominion engineer's been digging out here for months. See that crane? They're getting ready to move the artifact they found off-world. Well, I'll be damned. See? You gotta have a little more faith, Jimmy. All right. Time to give the Dominion a wake-up call. Let's smash that base and haul that baby out of there. Additional tutorials are available for you to review. Yeah, yeah. We'll need a lot more Marines before we take on the Dominion outpost. Train them up at the barracks. While we're at it, extra SCVs will help us harvest minerals faster. Train them up at the command center. Good job, huh? 
Ben. Go ahead. Gangway, coming through. Complete. Insufficient Vespine gas. Sure. Additional supply depots required. I'll take care of it. Just relax. Ah! You scared me! Roger! The Dominion is attacking the Rebel base to the southwest. Good. That'll keep the Dominion off our backs. Those folks need our help, Tigers. There's no way we're leaving them to rot. Sure. I'm on it. Affirmative. Go, go, go. You guys sure are a welcome sight. We're with you. 
Just tell us where you want us. Welcome aboard, boys. You got it. Rainer's the man! It's Rainer's, boys. Dominion can go to hell! Keep your shirt on, Sparky. Sure thing. Got it. Armed and ready. Oh, yeah. Job cleaning out that bunker, Jimmy. Between your boys and my skills, we are gonna go a long way together. Controls accessed. Decrypting security overrides. Crane control established. Beautiful. Now let's reel that sucker in and get out of here. this. I heard them Zerg got burned out by them creepy Protoss a few years back. It's been four years and they're still finding burrowed dens out in the wastelands. Well, a trophy like that's gotta fetch a good price on a black market. Up for some hunting, partner? Knock yourself out, Tychus. Me? I've hunted enough Zerg for two lifetimes.
to say, Jimmy. You turned into a real impressive fighter. If I was old Minsk, I'd be running scared for me too. You really mean that, Tychus? Nah, I was just kidding. <laughs> Thanks for staying with us. Let's go now to Kate Lockwell with an update on Jim Rayner's violent uprising. Thanks, Donnie. Rayner's clearly widening his list of targets. He's attacked a Dominion archaeological dig and possibly seized a dangerous alien artifact. Emperor Mangsk spoke on this subject earlier today. There's no telling what kind of habit these supposedly innocuous relics might wreak upon our worlds. Anyone found in possession of these items will be dealt with to the fullest extent of the law. Look on the bright side, partner. You're a wanted man either way. Thanks, Tigers. I imagine civilian casualties were high as a result of Rayner's terrorist actions. Actually, the only civilian deaths appear to be collateral damage from overzealous Dominion security force. Uh, thanks, Kate. You heard it here first. Jim Rayner, killing women and children on Marsara. What was it like, Jimmy? Fighting them Zerg. All the scrapes we were in back in the day, all the narrow escapes, none of it compares to how terrible they are, Tychus. You don't know what real fear is till you've got a thousand of these sons of bitches barreling down on you. So who's your mysterious buyer, Tychus? Who are we supposed to hand this artifact over to? A bunch of eggheads I ran into called the Mobius Foundation. Mobius? They're a legitimate research group. Why the hell are they talking to you? Soon as your boy Mansk made it illegal to trade in alien goods, they got desperate. And you know me, Jimmy. I am a great patron of the sciences. What is this swill? Didn't the magistrate here know he was hiring an arch criminal as his marshal? <laughs> he was counting on it. Guess my tough guy reputation kept things nice and quiet around here. All the time I wore that badge, I never had to shoot anybody. Well, where's the fun in that? Well, it means not 